I am Dr. B. Ramesh, Gynecologist and Laparoscopic Surgeon, Alts Hospital, Bangalore. Hysterectomy is removal of the uterus. This is one of the commonest operations done all over the world. If the hysterectomy is done by laparoscopy, it is called laparoscopic hysterectomy. There are three routes of hysterectomy. One is vaginal hysterectomy. The other one is abdominal hysterectomy, that is cutting open the abdomen. And the third one is the laparoscopic hysterectomy. So in normal hysterectomy, we are going to remove the uterus and the cervix. If the patient is above 50 years and if she has any uh, risk factor for developing ovarian cancer, we remove the tubes and ovaries. That is called salpingo oophorectomy. Many times the hysterectomy or the removal of the uterus is clubbed with bilateral salpingo oophorectomy to prevent the cancer in some of the patients. So normally is uterus removal earlier was done by cutting open the abdomen like any other operation. But now with the advancement in technology, so we can make small holes, two to three half centimeter incision through the tummy of the patient. And we introduce camera and all the operating instruments through the small holes and the hysterectomy is carried out and the uterus is removed. Number one is fast recovery. Unlike open operation in laparoscopic hysterectomy, the patient recovers almost within 24 hours after the hysterectomy and can go home on the same day or the next day. There is no need of bed rest when compared to open operations. So especially in the working class, they can resume to work within say two to three days, they can start working. And there is no big incision on the tummy and no sutures. So the post-operative pain and the scar formation will be very minimal on the abdominal wall of the patient. And cosmetically also it is superior because the scars are not seen. And uh, the biggest advantage of laparoscopic hysterectomy over the open hysterectomy is absence of wound infection. In cases of open hysterectomy, the wound can get infected and can cause a severe infection and uh, disturbance in the healing of the wound. Whereas in laparoscopic hysterectomy, the wound uh, infection is almost nil and the healing will be much uh, faster. And uh, in the recovery period, so there are not much instructions except the patient uh, should not lift the weight for six to eight weeks and she should not have intercourse for six to eight weeks. Otherwise, she can do all her routine work and office work. So in the patients in whom the ovaries are removed, suppose if they are below 50 years of age, they may develop menopausal symptoms like heart flushes, bone pain, etc. So to prevent this, immediately after the uterus removal and the ovaries removal, we start the patient on mild dose of estrogens. So another thing is how long to con uh, continue this estrogen tablet in these patients. So probably they may have to continue for maximum one to one and a half years. By that time, the natural body mechanism will take over and she will be able to stop the estrogen tablet after one to one and a half year in most of the uh, cases. The entire process will take one to two days. The patient can uh, get admitted on the same day of the operation and next day she can go home. So laparoscopic hysterectomy is a big advantage to the woman, especially in a big uterus, like a bigger fibroid uterus or a big ovarian uh, cyst, or even in cases of cervical cancer and endometrial cancer, 
the radical hysterectomy or the wardheim hysterectomy can be done with laparoscope so that the patient can go home within 2 3 days so even today the uterine cancer surgeries can be done through the laparoscope so that the Uh, recovery is much faster and there is no ugly scars on the abdomen